Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the CMA show. My name is Devansh Kulabwani and in this episode I'm going to tell you how much I have invested in this qualification, how much I have invested to become certified management accountant. Okay. So straight away, directly I am telling you that I have invested somewhere around 30,000 rupees to become US CMA. Thirty thousand rupees. That's all. Now I know what you all must be thinking. How come I have invested just thirty thousand? Okay. Now most of you must be thinking that I was a scholarship student. Yes, I was a scholarship student. But apart from um, scholarship, um, you also have to have a review course provider to get the online test bank to get the books. Okay. Uh, mine was miles education there is no such thing as doing free of cost becoming or doing cma free of cost it is from ima side but you you have to pay to the review course providers so i paid 32000 the very upfront payment to miles education when i was enrolled with miles education for cma okay so 32000 was specifically for part 1 again i have had to pay 32000 for part 2 So that gets us to the total investment of sixty-four thousand rupees, and because I was a scholarship student, I wasn't obligated. I've I've had no obligations to pay to IMA Institute of Management Accountants because scholarship is of three years, and for three years you are a uh, member. You are of course after enrolling with the. CMA program after enrolling with um, IMA after getting registered with IMA you are a member and all members have to pay membership fees annually so i have haven't paid even a single penny to institute of management accountants to this day um, because my scholarship period ended just a month ago i think 2 months ago for 3 years i have had i have had to pay nothing and i haven't paid nothing to IMA no membership fees no examination fees and if you were to talk about examination when you are a scholarship student you don't have to pay um examination fees registering for the cma exam you don't have to uh, pay that fees if however you fail the exam and you are retaking the exam then you will have to pay the examination fees okay so in my case it was all free of cost haven't paid or didn't have to pay examination fees didn't have to pay membership fees and all i've had to pay was to miles education which i have already told you was of 64000 rupees 32000 for each part okay so if i have paid 64000 why i am saying that i have completed my cma in just um 30000 rupees how so the reason why i said 30000 is because i have also earned money from ima yes you heard it right i haven't paid to ima till this day but i have received money from ima how so i participated into student case competition in 2021 actually and uh, i was able to secure finalist position it wasn't just me it was my whole team um team of four people including myself so being finalist of the student case competition it was an international student case competition so we secured a finalist position and we also achieved a monetary reward of 3000 us dollars now at that time in 2021 it was 2 lakh 10000 rupees so each one of us got 750 dollars Seven hundred fifty-one dollars, and three of my other friends also got seven hundred fifty dollars each. Converted back to rupees in twenty twenty-one, it was fifty-two or fifty-three thousand rupees. That's the case. So, an investment of sixty-four thousand minus fifty-three thousand gets me to eleven thousand. So my net investment got here is eleven thousand rupees. 
um, spent to complete my entire CMA program. But as an accountant, we have to consider all expenditures made for a decision and those expenditures, those cash outflow is relevant because we have made a decision. So one of the decision travel to another city to th take the exams of course here is there is absolutely not even a single pro metric center in Madhya Pradesh I live in Madhya Pradesh so I've had to go to Mumbai and I took the test both parts part one and part two not simultaneously but in a gap of a year so um, then what happened is of course when you travel to another city to take the exam that will cost you uh, travel tickets hotels food and everything else so I'm I calculated my expense for both parts expense for taking the exam of both parts was somewhere around 15,000 okay so 15,000 plus 11,000 11,000 from my net investment that is miles education fees less IMA um, award money gets me 11,000 11,000 plus um, this test taking expenditures or test taking investment gets me to 26,000 let's get it around um, let's say 30,000 let's say 30,000 so yeah that's how I became USCMA in 30,000 rupees or by investing 30,000 rupees now i know this is not the case this is i consider this case is is an exceptional because not most people um, become cma with this amount of money but yes in my case and in the case of my other teammates it was true now some people invest a lot why because of retaking the exam because most people are um, most people don't get don't clear the exam in the first attempt so they have to retake the exams and they end up investing um, quite the sum of money and that's okay it's absolutely fine I'm not here to um, judge anyone it's just everyone requires time to get things done some people require more time than other people so yeah that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, share this video with your study partner and subscribe to the CMA show. And make sure that whenever you click on my episodes, make sure to watch entire episode. Don't take half knowledge. Half knowledge is dangerous. Okay. So make sure to watch entire episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you again.